All right, what's going on, StarCraft 2 fans? Time to get back into it. We've got Liquid TLO, everyone's favorite German Terran player, against Jimpo, a relatively new player to the scene, also playing Terran. I believe he is from Sweden, if I am correct. And I'm a big fan of TLO, as many of you know who have seen my games before. He's a very creative player, and he rolled a lot of random in the beta, and definitely innovated the game a little bit. Through a few surprises in the faces of some well-established players and I hope he uh, kicks some butt here Jimpo looking to take him down maybe upset the natural order of things and we haven't done a TVT in a while so this should be interesting I am of course laser coin with Mahalo video games and I just downloaded this off Gosu coaching uh, go to coaching website uh, very cool they offer coaching services to aspiring sc2 pros so you should go ahead and check them out if you get a chance tlo gonna be walling off his base up here uh, good move don't want to let a bunch of units slide right into your main here on uh this is jungle basin i think yes yes i think that is what level we are on uh rarely seen level on the pro scene uh but a, a good level a good level nevertheless and an interesting map so we'll see what happens here Jimpo sends the first scout out of the match TLO not scouting so much and as we look around the map we see here that um, they uh, the Terrans have a straight shot at each other through the middle here but there's also a secondary ramp over here and this one is blocked off by destructible rocks so I'm not sure if TLO meant to wall off this ramp or if he wanted to wall off the ramp up here. But in either case, uh, <laughs> this barracks will not be stopping anyone from getting through. And he doesn't even have any supply depots there anyway. So maybe he realized what was going on. Or maybe it was just his plan never to wall off it from the beginning. I don't know. Um, looks like we've got Jimpo doing a similar thing here. So... I'm gonna guess that it's fairly standard to have a building over here by this side of your, by this uh, secondary ramp over here. And he's getting a fast factory, so we're probably gonna see a 1 1 1 opening. So he can go uh, tanks, maybe some dropship or medvac tank harass, something like that. And TLO, on the other hand, oh no, he's getting a factory too. So both players going for that Destiny Cloud Fist opening. Destiny Cloud Fist, of course, coined by Husky. It's also known as the 1-1-1 opening. Uh, great for tanks. Uh, if you want to have a Banshee Harass, that's the way to go. You build a, uh, a fast tech lab on the factory, then swap it out with your starport, and you can get the Banshee Harass going. A lot of options out of this opening. Very versatile, and that's why a lot of players favor it over, a, a like, say, two racks or three racks build. And both players getting their starports down now. We're going to see Hellions out of uh, Jimpo here. Interesting play. Uh, looks like he's probably going for a some fast Hellion play. Otherwise, I imagine he would have... Oh, no, he's throwing a reactor on there. Oh, no, he's throwing a tech lab on there. So, possibly seeing some Hellion tank play out of Jimpo. Meanwhile... TLO's got a nice little line of marines set up over here to block any intruders from getting into his base. And he is going for a medvac. So he'll probably be dropping tanks in a position that will very much annoy Jimpo. Or dropping at least this one tank. And hmm, I wonder where he's going to drop. I suppose anywhere in here past the uh, the main base will be good, but right now he could probably just roll up in there and do the same thing. But he's, he, of course, doesn't know that. And looks like another barracks going down for Jimpo, so he'll be able to beef up his uh, infantry there. TLO still on one barracks, and he is moving out now with the medvac, probably not going for a tank drop as I earlier thought. He'll just use this medvac to heal up his marines. Uh, on the way to the base here. And uh-oh, a Hellion is going to come in here and he's going to realize that something's amiss. All TL TLO's forces are away from home. And it looks like the SCV is coming out. Good surround on the Hellion. That Hellion's going nowhere. Tank comes in and finishes it off. Yeah, that surround is an excellent move. You uh, right-click past the Hellion and then once you're, all your SCVs surround it, you stop and uh, attack. Great, great move 
by TLO to stop that Hellion from doing any real damage. And now his forces are in the base of Jimpo. Does Jimpo have enough to stop this? I'm not sure. This tank does not have siege mode active, uh, but it does have what he does have is a SCV there to repair it. And <laughs> looks like we saw a uh, Banshee going down for uh, Jimpo. And Jimpo coming out now with SCVs and Marines going to try and fend off this attack. And he is really bringing a lot of forces to the table here. There's a Raven on the field for Jimpo trying to repel this attack. And another Siege Tank now backing up the original Siege Tank that came in here. Good micro out of TLO. He's even got a, uh, a Viking here to, to scout. Oh no, that the tank gets blocked by one Marine on the ramp. And the tank ends up going down. So a little bit of missed micro there from TLO. But uh, still a pretty damaging attack. Jimpo did lose a lot of SCVs. Let's check the Harvester count. Yeah, you can see TLO way ahead at 27 over 20. And yeah, that attack was well worth it for that much damage to the economy. Looks like we're going to see a Tech Lab here come out of TLO. And he's probably, yeah, with that rally point, I would guess we're probably going to see some Banshee Harass. Something of that nature. He is expanding down here uh, to his natural. Excellent play. That natural, of course, blocked by these destructible rocks. So pretty well defended. And he'd either have to come through here or destroy these rocks, Jimpo would, uh, to get to that natural. And right now, I think he's probably just focused on remacroing back up, getting his own expansion up as he did not even have one yet. And if things keep going at the rate they're going, TLO is going to pull way, way, way ahead in the economy with those two bases and the already uh, kind of devastating harvester advantage that he has. Let's see if he's getting, does he have siege tank tech is on the way, siege tech as it were is on the way, and pretty soon these tanks will be able to siege up and deal massive, massive amounts of damage from far away. And if you have a air unit spotting, you could even siege up outside the base right here. And Siege tanks, eh, if they get right in here in this corner, might be even able to hit that barracks over there, but definitely able to do a lot of damage to these forces, anything that gets on the ramp, and he could just do a slow siege tank push into the base of Jimpo, if that's his style, or he could land tanks somewhere. Um, Jimpo's got a pretty spread out base, and really this jungle base in starting Mac doesn't lend itself to a tank drop very well oh look at this a viking uh sets down to block the command center the command center of course cannot land if there is a unit there and delaying this expansion for vital vital seconds uh obviously not forever because uh jimpo is just going to bring in a few units but um excellent move by tlo uh great creative play from him and uh <laughs> using that viking to delay the expansion he knew was coming one sec k go i guess there might have been a pause there uh, but it did not show up, so that's good. And it looks like we've got a uh, sensor tower out over here. Sensor tower, of course, doesn't tell you what type of unit is approaching, but anywhere in this circle, if a unit does show up, uh, you'll get a little, mm, what's it called, exclamation point here to show you that a unit's there and you've got trouble incoming. So uh, actually, if any units do enter that area, for if any Jimpo units do enter that area, I will show you on... Uh, TLO's view what he is seeing and it looks like we might have a Jimpo attack here soon He's got that Raven out with those point defense drones, which are great and also they can lay down Turrets uh, no seeker missile upgrade, but seeker missiles pretty rarely used they waste a lot of energy and uh, a lot of times They can be outrun not all the time uh, But you don't see a lot of players using those all right, so it looks like TLO sent a couple scouts out this way and he's going to know now that the main Jimpo force is out by the Zelnaga watchtower and it looks like he is sieging up preparing for an attack or maybe moving out to do some damage of his own uh, a lot of forces getting stuck up on that ramp there and he's got a viking out scouting now trying to locate those Jimpo forces and he does excellent he predicts the uh the attack coming around here at these destructible debris and that viking will go down but I think TLO is going to have plenty of time to get his troops in position and ready to fend off this attack. Look at this. He had a supply depot position right here, too. So in case the Viking didn't spot it, the supply depot, depot would have saw the, uh, the health on those rocks going down. Excellent, excellent positioning from TLO. And 
There you hear those deadly siege tanks sieging up. And if Jimpo runs into this, oh, he's getting going to get slaughtered. Those siege tanks do a lot of damage to those uh, ground troops. Uh, but he did have a lot of infantry here, so maybe he'll be able to fend off this attack. And it looks like he has managed to kill all of the siege tanks. Uh-oh. And now it's just a few marines and these ravens up here. Uh, he needs to bring in his STVs to engage these forces. And there's a bunker right there. He hops one marine in there, uh, the one survivor of his force. And it looks like uh, Jimpo going to load up his med back and get out of there. And that did not go as well as I thought it would for TLO. Uh, definitely a good play on Jimpo's part, targeting those tanks. Uh, TLO needs to repair this bunker in order to secure this position. I think he's still, yeah, still way ahead in economy, but uh, that attack definitely, I think, caught him off guard, caught TLO off guard. But wow, he has a second and very large force. Uh, back up here, so I think the reason that that attack was uh, as as evenly matched as it was was that TLO just didn't have all his forces there. He was off doing something else uh, that I missed, but you know we got to see the big battle, so that's what's important. And looks like we have Cloak now coming out for TLO. Uh, that'll allow the Banshees to harass. Uh, definitely this mineral field up here in the expansion and actually both mineral fields are wide open there's no missile turrets anywhere so a few cloaked banshees could really do a lot of damage also uh, infantry level one upgrades coming out to give him a slight edge over the infantry of Jimpo good play good use of uh, your money right there and wow both players just have a ton up on the production tab or had a ton up on the production tab a minute ago as you see uh, TLO's got a at least one SCV in there, two SCVs to repair these tanks, and these SCVs will probably, no, they're not set on auto repair. Uh, maybe they're just, it'll just order them to repair tanks as need be, but normally players keep a couple SCVs. Hey guys, what's up? This is LaserCoin. I just want to remind you to subscribe, comment, and rate these videos. Also, if you have any requests for videos you want to see or just want to say what's up, send that over to requests at mahalo.com. All right, thanks a lot, guys.